Well, as a, a service to my sobriety, uh, I help other addicts uh, and alcoholics go into recovery. This particular kid, PJ Raynor, his mom was my brother Alex's first girlfriend in junior high school. We knew them since I was five years old. You know, a lot of people that are actors and singers or celebrities, if you will, um, hide the fact that they had an addiction problem. I never did that. Barbara Jean, PJ's mom, reached out to me and said, my son's suffering. At the time, he was in trouble with the law now. Non-violent, non-sexual, but stealing stuff to try to support his habit. So I called the DA and I talked to the judge. I get him out the first time, I put him in rehab. I get him out the second time, I put him, each time, incrementally, he's facing more years. Now he's facing a hard time. I get the judge, I talk him into giving me him one more time. And the night that I got him to California, I asked him to write a list, a bucket list of the 10 things he always wanted to do that if he OD'd or he ended up in prison, he wouldn't get a chance to do. And then I pulled out my list I wrote, and we had one match to run with the Bulls in Pamplona, Spain. So I told him, if you get two years sober, I will take you to run with the Bulls. He got three years sober. We didn't get a chance to go yet. Ended up deciding he was gonna shoot up again. The first shot, laced with fentanyl, overdoses and dies. I really struggled with it, I did. And I thought to myself, I have to do something to try to exercise these demons in me about how angry I was at him. So I decided to go on a diet. I lost 57 pounds in five months. I took his ashes. I flew to Pamplona and I ran with the bulls and spewed his ashes in the stadium. Daniel trained for, for months, got in shape, and we went to Spain and I filmed him running with the bulls. It was like watching in sheer terror because he's literally running and if you, if, when you see the film, you'll see the horn missed him by that much. I was wondering if I was gonna have to jump down and go help him because the bulls will trample you, you know? It was the most intense moment I've ever filmed in my life. I kept my promise to him. Um, and I will reveal one thing about it. It did nothing. I thought, I, and I say in the film, I'm really hoping that this pain will go away. It didn't. But I learned something really, really important that did help me get through it. But you're going to have to watch the film. Oh. <laughs>